Janie here. Welcome back to my garden and welcome to day 12 in my holidays in the garden series. I am outside today. I know it looks like a nice, bright, sunny day. Let me show you guys. Looks nice. However, it's been raining on and off all day and it's supposed to start raining in about an hour. So I have an hour to get everything done that I need to get done out here before it starts raining again. So that's okay. At least I got some clear, clear skies so I can come out here and not get wet. So what I wanted to address today is I wanted to address my peonies. I wanted to give you all a peony update. I planted peonies about 10 months ago. I think it was February. I posted a whole video about uh, growing peonies in warm climates. I will link that video down below. So what I did is I planted over in my cottage garden bed over here, I planted five peony tubers, just the regular tubers. And then I planted three more up here on the north side of my house, three more uh, Sandra Bernhardt varieties. Over here in my cottage garden bed, only three of them sprouted. The other two didn't even show up, didn't even come at all. I think there were duds. Two of them were, they were really small tubers. So, and I feel like they only had like one eye on it. So that's okay. Then I was at Home Depot a little bit later on in the year and I found two big, beautiful plants. I think one of them was a Shirley Temple and one of them was a Dr. Dr. Alexander Fleming, I want to say. Um, and so I planted those in place of them. So I technically have five peonies over here in my cottage garden bed, and I have three more up here, kind of in my gated garden bed. So now if you know anything about peonies, you know that they're hardy zones, USDA zones three through eight. And I am a zone nine B here in Davis. So that doesn't work. And then if you take it a little bit further, cause I often push my zones, uh, here on the West coast, we often follow the sunset zone map. I, I did a whole video on this explaining it cause it's kind of confusing. I will link that video down below as well. I am a sunset zone 14 and peonies peonies are hardy sunset zones one through 11. So that doesn't work for me either. Um, and I just think that that's so funny because like, you know, for instance, my parents, they live in Redding, which is about two hours North. It's still technically USDA zone nine B. However, it is sunset zone eight or nine. It's kind of on the borderline eight or nine. So my parents are good to go for growing peonies. We're both zone nine B. They're good to go for peonies. I am not good to go for growing peonies. So, you know, it kind of just, kinda, it gets a little bit confusing, but everything I've read, people say, still try. Still try and see what you can do with peonies. You might have to work a little bit harder, but oh, I want peonies in my garden so bad. I find them so, so beautiful. I think they are such a gorgeous addition to a cottage garden, which is what I'm trying to do over here on the east side of my house. So I'm, I really, really want to grow some peonies up here. So in February, I read an article about growing peonies in hot climates, and it was very, very helpful. It had a lot of good tips, but probably the best thing that I got from that article was the anecdote of people kind of in my area um, growing peonies in areas that don't get cold during the winter. So peonies need chill time to bloom appropriately the next season. Just like tulip bulbs do, um, just like blueberry plants do, peonies need enough chill time. And what they need is they need three weeks total of winter temperatures, 32 degrees Fahrenheit and below. We just don't get that here in Davis. We get cold, we get very close to 32 degrees, but not for three weeks worth and not below 32 degrees. Usually, usually, you know, you never know. Um, but does that mean I shouldn't grow peonies? No, <laughs> because in that article, they were talking about a gardener in San Francisco where they don't get, they don't freeze either. They're in the bay, they're close to the ocean, so they don't freeze at all. However, this one gardener said they went out every week in December and, and half of January and they poured ice on their peonies to stimulate the chill time. And I thought that was just, first of all, I thought that was excessive, of course, but then I just thought it was genius <laughs> because what a way to get chill time for your peonies. And then you can still enjoy the peony blooms, you know, and yes, it's a little bit of work, but what else am I doing during the winter season? You know, I'm not doing much gardening. So that's where my whole peony journey started after reading this article. And I thought, 
I can do that. I can pour ice on my peonies. And so this is what I'm doing today. I am pouring ice on my peonies. So everything I've read about growing peonies in warm climates, I've kind of compiled a list of tips. One of them is the pouring ice during the winter. That's my, that's my tip number one if you don't get the freeze time uh, that you need. Now think about my parents who live in Reading. They get the freeze time that they need. However, they get just as hot, if not hotter than us during the summer. So they have a different type of problem that they have to deal with with their peonies. So here are a couple tips that might help if you live in a, in a warm area, um, you know, and either you don't get enough chill time during the winter or you get too hot during the summer. So tip number one is plant your peony tubers shallowly. You only want to plant them about one inch deep and you always want to plant peony tubers pretty shallow, but especially if you live in a warmer climate, because if you plant them too deep, it's going to be like having a blanket over the tubers and it's not going to allow a much as much of the cold to get to the tubers during the winter time. This goes, the same theory goes with tip number two, which is don't mulch your peonies. Same thing, mulching is going to protect them from the cold winter nights. And that is actually what we don't want here with the peonies. We want them to get cold. So don't mulch your peony tubers in the winter. Tip number three for growing peonies in warm climates are, and I'm talking about herbaceous peonies here, cut the plants back down to the ground in November to stimulate dormancy for the peonies. So peonies need a period of time where there's no leaves on it to accept the chill time to, you know, to basically go to sleep and be able to bloom, have enough energy to bloom for next year. In some places, it never gets cold enough for the peonies to totally lose all their leaves. The herbaceous peonies will die back to the ground during the winter, but if it doesn't get cold enough, they never die back to the ground. And so then the peonies don't get that dormancy. But if you come in with your pruners in November or December and you cut them back, you're basically stimulating that dormancy and then the peonies can start getting their chill time. Now, this is different from tree peonies. Tree peonies are woody shrubs, and what you want to do for those, you don't actually want to cut those back. You don't want to cut, cut the stems back, but you do want to remove all the leaves. That will kind of do the same thing. So tree peonies, you want to remove the leaves. Herbaceous peonies, you want to cut the stems back all the way down to the ground. Tip number four is planting your peonies in the right spot in your garden. Now, I already showed you all my cottage garden bed over here, and this is actually the perfect place for planting your peonies because it is east facing and what east facing means is that the peonies are going to get the mild early morning sun where it's not too hot but they're going to be protected from the hot afternoon sun in our hot climates so planting them in an eastern facing garden is going to protect them from that heat during you know late spring early summer when they're when they're starting to bloom and might help them from the leaves scorching or the blooms wilting too early from the heat okay and then finally tip number five for growing peonies in warm climates is choosing the right variety now i kind of followed this advice but I honestly didn't know about it when I picked out my peonies about half of them are the right varieties half of them are the wrong varieties so what you want to do is you want to choose heat tolerant varieties there are over 3,000 cultivars of herbaceous peonies so of course there are going to be some that do better in the heat and some that don't do as well in the heat and usually most times it falls into the category of early blooming peonies versus mid to late blooming peonies so early blooming peonies are going to bloom before it gets too hot in hot climates and you know it's going to protect those leaves from scorching from the hot sun or the blooms from wilting too early because it's too warm a couple varieties that i have that are early blooming varieties are festiva maxima uh, shirley temple and bowl of beauty so all of those should be good to go they should bloom pretty early in the season before it gets too hot the two varieties that i have that are mid mid to late season varieties are sandra bernhardt and dr alexander Alexander Fleming. Those, I didn't even realize they're mid to late season blooming, so it might be too hot for those varieties. So I'll just have to wait and see. So again, I call this my peony journey because this whole thing is, is probably going to take me about three to five years to even see if it's a total success. I could already tell that the peony tubers were growing because I did get some foliage growth this year, but I don't know how well they're going to do. I don't know how well the blooms are going to do with the heat, with the afternoon heat with the late spring heat I don't know how well it's going to do for a couple years to see how it goes so you know giving updates on my peonies is kind of hard because this is a long-term 
project or journey, I would say. And yes, this is a lot of work for peonies. I totally recognize that. And those of you that are able to grow peonies without even thinking about it, enjoy it. <laughs> Good for you. We all have our pros and cons of our zones, of our areas that we grow in. And one of the cons I feel like that we have is that we don't get the chill time to be able to enjoy things like tulips and peonies without putting some work into it. So the same way that I pre-chill my tulip bulbs in my fridge, they're in there right now, I am working on chilling my peonies. And I will just be so, I will get so much joy if I can even get one bloom for my peonies this season, next season, I don't care when, I would just love to be able to experience that. All right, so let me show you where all my peonies are. Again, I've already cut them back, so there's not too much to see. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some ice on and be done. Real quick though, look at my alliums. They're all starting to come up nicely. I'm excited about that. Okay, so my peonies are all over here. All right, let's see if I can find them in this mess. And you can see there's leaves down here, so I've gotta pull the leaves back to get rid of all the mulch. But this one right here, this is my Shirley Temple. Right here, you can see here's a stake right here where I cut it back. And I'll just go like that. And so I'll just come out here and this is where I will put the ice. And then coming over here, let's see if I can find the other one. Okay, so right here is my Dr. Alexander Fleming. This is one of the ones that are mid to late season bloomers. So I'm kind of skeptical about this one. Uh, this one and then the Shirley Temple one right there, those are the two big ones that I purchased from Home Depot. Um, so that's why they have so many stocks coming out. Uh, the other ones that I have are a lot smaller. So now I have to find those. I know I have labels on them, but I can't even see the labels right now, you guys. Okay, here's one right here. Oh, you see that label? Oh, so this is my bowl of beauty. You can see I forgot to cut it back. So tiny, but that's okay. Again, first year, they're gonna take a while to grow. This is just, this is gonna be a labor of love, I would say. Okay, so I'll put ice right there. Okay, I found the next one. This one's Festiva Maxima. This is one that didn't even really come up this season, but I'm going to put ice on it anyway to see if I can get it to sprout next season. And then I know the last one is around here somewhere. There it is. This is my sorbet. Okay, right there. So over here in my cottage garden, I will put ice here, 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 here and here. And then over here in my gated garden bed, I just noticed I forgot to cut these back. I thought I did that. So these are my Sandra Bernhardt's. So I'll put ice right there. And then this one right here. I'm gonna have to cut this one. So you can see, there's still leaves on here, right? So this isn't good for these tubers. These tubers need time with no leaves on it. And yes, these leaves don't look good, but they're still there. So I'm gonna have to come cut these off and then I'll put ice on it. Look at my azaleas. Those look nice, huh? All right, so I've got all my peonies covered in ice, hopefully nice and tucked in and chilly for the next week. I will be back out in one week to do this all over again. I'm planning to do this every week for December and half of January. And hopefully that will be enough chill time for the peonies to 
bloom properly next season. So for all of you that don't have to try so hard to get peonies to bloom in your garden, you lucky ducks, I'm jealous. So hopefully these tips were helpful for those of you in warm climates like I am. Hopefully you can try growing some peonies as well. I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today. <laughs> <laughs>